Welcome to the Masterclass on Pydentic AI, a new framework for building AI agents. In this Masterclass, we're learning about the core features of Pydentic AI and how we can build effective agents using simple Python code. We aim to hit all key features of the framework with plenty of examples, so by the end of this, you have the confidence and knowledge to build your own agents. Function tools can provide models a way to retrieve extra information to help with the responses. They're useful when it's impractical or impossible to put all the context into the system prompt or when you want to make agents' behavior more deterministic by deferring some of the logic required to generate the response to another not necessarily AI-powered tool. Pydentic AI provides three ways to register function tools. We can do at agent dot tool underscore plain decorator. We can do agent dot tool decorator, and we can use the tools keyword when defining the agent. In agentic flows, while models do the heavy lifting, tools can provide critical context and information that the LLMs simply may not have. That's why it's so important to have tools integrated into our agentic flows. In Pydentic AI, tools do a lot of the heavy lifting. Although we still rely on good LLMs, tools can inject critical information during runtime. If you haven't watched earlier modules, now might be a good time to pause and take a look. It may add context to what's explained in this tutorial. The links to all videos will be in the description. Today, we'll work on six examples, starting with a simple Hello World, then moving to a basic plain tools agent, Next, we're going to call tools with context. In the third example, we'll use kwargs to pass the tools to the agent. The prepare parameter is a unique to Pydentic AI and allows for selectively calling of tools. That's what we're going to do in the fifth example. Finally, we'll use docstring to describe tools for testing purposes. And that's going to use Griff. Now we're ready to kick off with our first example. Let's start with a simple hello world. We're going to start by importing the libraries, and now we're going to define our model. And for this, we're going to use the OpenAI GPT-40 model. Our single tool today is called role underscore die. And in the doc string, we're defining the function. It's rolling a six-sided die and returning the result. And here, we'll just return a random integer between one and six. And here's our agent definition. And in the tools parameter of the agent, we're passing the roll die. So this is one of the simplest agents possible with a simple tool. And in the run sync, we're passing the prompt, my guess is four, and we're going to ask the model to compare. So let's roll the dice and see what we come up with. Yes, the first result was five and our guess four was close, but not quite there. Let's do it one more time and now run it again. And now we're seeing that we are still not there. Let's go ahead and do a quick summary. Tools can improve the effectiveness of agents significantly. There is virtually no limit to the kinds of tools or code that we can implement inside a tool function since it basically it's a plain Python code. Pydentic AI provides great mechanisms for adding tools to agents. We went over three different methods of how to define a tool and register it with an agent. Next time, we'll look into how to use result validator functions with agents. Using result validators, agent errors and exceptions can be reduced, contributing to a more reliable agent flow. But for today, this is a wrap. If you've come this far, get your favorite drink and kick back. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and learned something new. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. If you have any feedback, please submit a comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.